hopefully you can hear me okay. You know, I was talking to a health nurse today over the phone. And I forgot to mention, you know, besides all my health issues, that I also have coronary artery disease and brain fog. I'm always fatigued. I'm always so tired. Like yesterday, all I could do was sleep. Just beyond. I couldn't keep my eyes open for nothing. Um, but we were talking about what I can do now. And it got me thinking. What I couldn't do three years ago, two years ago, last year. I would have to stop in the hallway just to catch my breath. To walk to the bathroom. I needed help getting dressed. I needed help getting out of the tub. Help getting out of my chair. I needed a lot of help. And I was in a bad situation. Then too, I was getting abused. Starved. My pets and I were getting mistreated. Three of my birds were murdered. Just a lot going on. And someone that said they loved me, wishing and hoping for me to die when he was sick, would have a cold and would cough in my face, hoping that that cold would kill me. I don't know how anyone could be so evil. And I have PTSD because of that. But just ever since three years ago and even last year, I'm doing a little bit better, you know, where I still have health issues and problems, but at least I'm able to dress myself, get out of the tub okay, um, without falling. I'm able to cook for myself because I got the air fryer oven, and that helps a lot. And... I have sarcoidosis now on my liver, and I have to have that checked every so often to make sure that it's functioning like it's supposed to. I still have trouble keeping food down, and if I wake up too early, my medicine doesn't help me at all. Um, always tired. I'm always in pain. And when my pain's not as bad as what it usually is, it's about 7. When bad, it's 10. But usually it's a, between um, a 8 and a 12. But when it gets really, really bad, a 15. I try to go to the ER, but... You have to pay $40 every time to go to the ER. I get a free ride home. But $40 when you're on a low set income. Because most of some of my income is taken out for college um, loans. Um, so that's... Leaves me with just enough to pay rent and bills. And I don't have $40 that I can just spare to take the cab to the hospital all the time. And I really don't want to call the ambulance when it's not like a heart attack or anything. It's just really bad pain. And I do have depression. And anxiety is really bad when I have to go to appointments or go to the grocery store. It's horrible. 
I used to be such a people person, but when you become ill and people don't understand because you don't look ill, you just look fat, they become mean. And really, it's not their business why, why I was bigger. It's nobody's business. But it was because of prednisone. And some people just weren't raised right, I guess she'll say. Um, so, I just can't be around that many people. I get very stressed out. But yeah, it got me thinking about this year compared to last year and the year before and the year before that. I, I'm a lot happier too because I'm not in an abusive relationship and I really don't think I'll be ready to be in another relationship. This is the first time I've ever been single. This is the first time I haven't been in a relationship. I've never been single and all my relationships in the past were all toxic and abuse but this last one was the worst so I'm just gonna work on me and worry about my mental health and my illness and take care of me and maybe make some friends along the way and that's it well I hope your day is pain free and stress free and God bless you guys bye